Chris, uh, another big day, obviously, um, you know, with, with Tom throwing the ball. Can, can you talk about you know, the ability to, to use all you guys and, and your touchdown there at the end that helps separate uh, the game a little? Yeah, um, I think um, when you look at the way our team is kind of constructed, it's we have so many guys, so many options that are, you know, really, really good threats. Um, and so it, it makes it a little bit hard for defenses to, to really key on on one guy in particular. Um, and so, you know, it, it's really up to us to make sure that we get the ball spread around to guys, you know, that are hot and really able to, to move the ball down the field. And I think over the first seven weeks, we've been doing a really good job of that, you know, getting a whole, a whole bunch of guys involved and really just, uh, I guess, growing each week. It's an unselfish group that's been together a while. And, and now you're going to add Antonio Brown. Just your thoughts about about him coming in and, and how, how you guys think you'll be able to accept that. Yeah, like you said, you know, we're uh, it's a really, really un, like unselfish group. I think we're all happy to see each other uh, succeed. And we all understand that, you know, when one person is, is successful, that's going to help the entire team as a whole, you know, and, and, and we're looking forward to adding like another really good piece. You know, hopefully he's able to come in and, and really contribute to, to our culture and really buy into the whole thing. But looking forward to it. Thanks. Next question will come from Greg Allman. Hey, Chris, I just want to ask you about the calm in the fourth quarter. They, they kind of got 10 points in a row, got within four points. And what you guys did uh, in some tough third down situations to, to get a touchdown, to pull it back away and kind of separate there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's um. Anytime you're playing a tough team like the Raiders, you know, who, like they're really well coached and they play really hard. Um, you know, you can't you can't really give them much light because they'll really make a start to make a run. Um, and in this game of momentum, um, it, sometimes it can be really hard to stop that. But you know, we had a couple of good defensive stops there, and then as an offense, a couple of clutch third downs that we converted on. And so from that point, we were able to really separate. Um, but you know, it definitely wasn't easy. You know, they re they really made us work for it. But I think this is going to be the types of games that that we, we kind of bank on. You know, moving forward. <clears throat> Thanks, Chris. Next question will come from Dan Lucas. Uh, Chris, I know you weren't on the field that night in Chicago, but you guys had a lot of trouble closing that game out, obviously. And uh, was that a wake-up call, you think, for the entire team or, or maybe the offensive side of the ball? I feel like it, yeah, like it could have been. Um, I think when you look at you know that game, we were struggling a bit offensively and you know really just to, <clears throat> to like you said, to close out the game. So. And I think we, I think our coaching staff have the, uh, have done a really good job of putting together a game plan since then. And uh, I think as as players, we've accepted the challenge of you know being able to go in and play four quarters of football because like we're playing some really really good teams. And you know if we if we want to get to where we want to get to, I feel like we're gonna have to do those things. And the sequence when you score you score the touchdown to get it back to eleven, you get an interception and a short field. All of a sudden, in less than a minute, you guys scored two touchdowns. Uh, how dangerous is this offense when you guys are trying to put a game away like this? I, I really think that there's no limit to what we can do offensively. Um, I just think that we have so many weapons. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's not just us offensively. You know, our special teams are playing really good. And as you guys know, our defense is, is really, really good. Um, even when they have, you know, a little bit of, of a down game, they're still able to make really clutch stops and really, you know, some big plays to really turn around. Like I said, I score a touchdown. Winfield gets the interception, and then we get down, we score again, and it can happen just that fast. So, like I said, we have a, a lot of talent, but we're, we're, we're still growing. We have time for a couple more. Next, we'll go to Leo Haggerty. Chris, last year when teams double team Mike, the ball still tried to go there. This year, you've scored 38 and 45 points the last two games, and Mike hasn't been a big part of it. How good is this offense going to be when defenses decide we can't double team Evans because we give up too many points? Uh, like, like I was saying, Matt, I, I really think our poss the possibility um, is endless. Um, you know, I, I think Mike is such a you know he's such a great player that and they re teams respect that so much. You know, I think that that he's the guy that teams are trying to take away and like we'll let everybody else beat us. But like you said, we're, we've been doing a really good job putting up points. Um, you know, with him not being uh, as productive, but I think you know the mentality that Mike carries, um, and you know on the sideline he's happy to win, and I, and I know that he knows that his his time's going to come, and what his numbers call, he's going to be ready to answer the bell. Next 